Hi, and welcome along to Al's Plumbing Channel. Right, Al, question for you. You're the man who knows. Now then, and you're the plumber in the family, I've come up, used the loo, and this has happened after I've flushed it. It's continuing to run water out. Did it a couple of weeks ago, and then nothing. I know it's done it twice today. So, I can stop it by pushing the flush again. But how am I going to stop that? That's wasting an awful lot of water. So, from the man who knows, what do I do? Well, you're right. Wasting a lot of water, isn't it? I guess that happens in a lot of your houses. Um, anybody that's got these push button type systems, uh, this is a common complaint. Happens out of a lot. Plus, the loo, it keeps running on all things. So, the fix isn't too bad. Um, I think what I let it happen is uh, it's left jam have a go at doing it. So, you get more of a, an angle of doing it from the other side of things. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to strap jam out to fix this one. Right, can you stop it just for now? Because it's driving me mad. Okay, we'll stop it just for now. All we've got to do is want to stop it for now. Just push the button. Mm. Right, magic. So what's happening now? Curious. Curious. Okay. Let's have a look at it. Okay, thankfully you've stopped the running of water for now, but it's a bit of a palaver, especially when someone comes to visit. So I need to fix it. What do I need to do? First thing, do I need to turn the water off? Yes, that is our first thing and I'll show you how to do it. First of all, have a look, you may have a little valve on the feed to your toilet system like we have. Okay, it usually comes up around the back of the system there. Uh, or it may even be on a line leading to the system, a piece of pipe on its way. If you've got one of those, it's very easy, you just turn it with a screwdriver on the horizontal position and the water's off. Uh, of course, if you haven't got one of these, just go downstairs and turn off the complete water main, okay? If you're gonna turn the water off under the sink normally, uh, but it can be elsewhere, most places are under the kitchen sink houses. Uh, conveniently for me, I've fitted one of these sure stop valves so that I haven't even got to turn a stop, but all I've got to do is do that and our water is now off. I've got a video on one of these if you want one, by the way, how to fit them and how much they are, etc. if you're interested in that. but. I've got a valve, a little valve, so I'm going to show you how to turn that off by the system next. Okay, that little screw there, that little screw is facing upright. All you've got to do is turn it now so that it faces horizontal. So it's just a quarter of a turn. Just keep going, that's it, that's it, you're off. Right, Make sure it's nice it. and level flat, that's so it. So that's the horizon, that's horizontal, it. That's got it. it. That water is now off and you can work on the toilet system. So that stops the water now getting to yep. there. But leaves all the rest of your water still on. Okay. Much more convenient. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take the lid off. Now, our particular one just lifts away. So it's not attached. Oh, right. I see. Yeah. Okay, yep, but yep. some are. Some have screws down here, and you've got to pull these little bits out, lift them out, and there'll right. be a screw under there. Ours hasn't got that, so they don't do okay, that. Okay, I so see. So our particular one just lifts away. Right. You put it upside down on the floor, and it will protect ah. the little plunger pieces there that push so down must have on, put it on the, the siphon. Floor, head down. Right. That's it. That's it. So here we have our siphon ball cock in the system here, and what we're going to do now is just this twist part this. Or this yeah, part. This part here right. is our siphon, and this is our ball cock. Okay? Right. So what we need to look at is this siphon okay. that's sticking. Now, in this particular instance, this one just turns around clockwise about halfway, and then will lift away. So, so I'll feel like that, will I? You will. Have clockwise that yeah. way. You keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And pull. Ah, not quite halfway then, but a little bit. So maybe not quite as far as I thought you meant. So it was just a little way, but I felt it give, and then I could just pull it out. So yeah, all the water's all gone now. Is yeah. that all right? Is that yeah, all right yeah, on the it's floor? All into, no, it's all gone into the pan. Right. Okay, some are halfway round, some are a bit earlier. It depends on the notching of the unit. So some do just lift away fairly yeah, quickly. But if you keep sense. a gentle pull on it, as you did there, it will come away. Yeah, because I could feel I mustn't tug on it, otherwise it. it was So gonna now, now we've got snap. our unit out and we can have a look at it. Okay. So, first thing to check is to look down in the hole in the seat in here. And make sure there's I'll put no this in the bath out of the way for a minute. Put that in the bar. Make sure there's no swarf bits of debris or anything overlapping what, the here? seating area, that's it. Right. Because if there is, that will be sticking and causing the siphon to not sit back properly. So have a look at that first. Ours looks all good actually. It's okay. So we've taken it out, but I don't get it. So when I push that down to flush the loo, 
what is happening, what, what is going on. Right, you can see that plunger there that lifts up and down. What's happening is that plunger is not seating properly back on the dome at the bottom of the system we just showed. So a lot of times, um, you may find, if you turn that around and face me now, so I can see the washer at the bottom, um, that that rubber washer there, this, needs replacing. Uh, I've known people turn them around, but a lot of times it's best just to renew this washer. It just pings off, you can see it just pulls off of there, uh, and you can get a new one anywhere and replace it. That's, that's our starting point. If that's got a mark on it, especially if it's got a big groove in it somewhere, water will still keep running all the time. So that's our first port of call. If your washer is all right, then it probably is just a matter of it's just sticking slightly um, before it drops down into the cistern. So let's have a look at that. Right, question. When you say if there's a groove, where am I looking for this groove? Am I looking for the groove here around the edge where this metal, the metal, plastic part is, the hard part is against this rubbery part. Is that where the groove, is that what you mean? Yeah, if there's a problem, it'll only be on this outer edge here, just the bit that seals it with the base. Um, so look for a piece of swarf, a bit of something stuck to it sometimes that ends up in the cistern. Make sure it's completely cleaned off and if there's a groove just on this outer edge, it doesn't have to be inside, um, then that's what you've got to get rid of. And if it's got a bad mark, then it will have to be replaced. Okay, well I can see this hasn't, I've gone all the way around, it's fine. If I had to take this off, and this is the washer, is it? This yeah, that hold, that's the hold, That's the washer and that's the holding. Right, part. how would I get that off? What well, that, that, has, that you can see it's clipped in tight there. Um, you've got to release these little clips. Most right. times I, I jab a screwdriver right, right. down. Right, so for example, I'm not going to do it, don't panic. I just jab that under and then yeah, ease that round it and it'll and pop off. off. Yeah. I see. Right, okay. okay. But we're saying it's not the washer. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's our mechanism. What is it? So we... It, we're getting it, it works all right now. working fine out of the system, which does mean we probably it's a bit worn. So just sometimes I'm afraid you will have to renew this part because there are virtually no interchangeable parts in there that you can easily get to and repair. So looking at ours, um, that there is no other problem and there wasn't a piece of swool for anything, I'm now looking that I will have to renew this part of the mechanism it's simply because it's worn and uh, it's not seating back on the seat. Not because the rubber's gone, but because the actual unit is worn inside. Okay, question. What's this for? Okay, well as you can see, it's a little sliding gauge here. And if you look along the side of it there, you've got a couple of things that say full flush and less. Um, and more. <laughs> Basically, leave this in the up position and one of the buttons at the top will give you half a flush uh, for a little wee <laughs> and the other one a full flush. Now because some people have got big families, they may have young kids and they tend to go for a biggie and uh, they push the little flush <laughs> and of course what happens uh, it's not enough to push all the water away so to get around that problem you can make both buttons do the full flush so that's why that's there so you can pull it down and get the maximum out of it. Okay now I think we've solved it now because this one's sticking down. All I was doing was playing around by pushing it up and down and that one's jammed down. So what are you saying is we need to remove all of this? It's not worth trying to fix it? No, trying to take one of these to pieces is an absolute nightmare. I honestly say don't do it. Uh, once it's worn, uh, it is a replacement job really. Okay, another question. That would be in that way round. I know it was because the blue is nearest to me. So this button here is the one that's causing the problem. When I flip this system lid back over, that has happened here. This yeah, well, you can see where we've been pushing this side the most um, for the usual little wee one. <laughs> and you can see why you know, that side is worn out because the rubber's worn right away here, the rubber that pushes down on that button. Whereas it's not so worn on this side, so you can tell our flushing habits. <laughs> but of course it does mean we've worn that side of the siphon out, which is why it's kind of gone that side, and which is the problem side, which is actually what we found most of the time, isn't it? It's when we push that button. Yeah, that it's it, when that button's stick. pressed. So there we are, and that's, yeah. that's kind of proof that that side has worn out the siphon. Now on here, I noticed when we go to a friend's house, this is around the other way. So therefore, I always push the big button in our house, but in someone else's house, you can hear the small water going. 
So how would well, what was well, happening? Well, originally, you know, the most people do add the small one uh, for a little flush and a big one for the main one. But I find that because we um, tend to use the little one most of the time, I do it round the other way uh, and have the big one for the small flush. You, set, you tend to want to go more for the big button. So why if I wanted one. it round the other way? We can way. turn it round the other way. There's a nut here. Just undo this. And the whole thing will turn around if you want it around the other uh, way. It's really optional, but I did it that way to encourage people to use the big button. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, as we only have one loo in our house, I need to put this back and we need to replace this, yes? Yes. And uh, where would I get one of these from? Uh, right, well, luckily I have an Amazon link <laughs> for you, uh, pasted up above now, uh, to buy one of these uh, or the complete unit, which you may have to buy actually, but uh, you can get there. So I'll put a link for you. And um, that's it, we'll buy one anyway, we'll need one now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have to reverse the process. Exactly. Okay, I'm confused. You said I can buy one of these or the whole unit. What do you mean, the whole unit? The system, the whole bathroom? No, no, no the whole unit by that, I mean uh, the base part as well. Oh, you this can bit see here. All this? It. That's it, it comes with but it. But you wouldn't need it, would you? No, you just split it and use the part you want. Okay, so you may be able to get that part. I will look on my Amazon link to see if there's just that part. If not, you'll have to get the whole thing and just use that part of it. Right, why sell that part if you only need this part? When would you need this? Well, on some of the older push button systems, unfortunately, uh, they don't fit. <laughs> the bit you've got in your hand won't fit in the part that's in the bottom of the system, oh, right. I'm afraid. Uh, on the older ones, and I, uh, there is a, a change of year at a certain time when that, that won't fit, so you need the whole thing. Unfortunately, in that instance, uh, it's a much bigger job. I have got a video on taking a system out and fitting the whole thing through. There, there is a video link for doing that. Okay. Um, but, but I don't that need is to a, worry about that. No, do don't I? worry about that. Okay. As a Reverse woman. the process. Yeah. So I'm working it out. I roughly came that far around. Oh yeah, I can feel that. And then there. And that's lovely because that's square now. That's it. That. Perfect. Ah, well good. Done. Now put the water on. Yeah. So I'm going to do the opposite. Woo! Oh, I don't it. like that sound. Ooh. Not quite, not quite straight. That's it. Good. Job done. Right, so I'm putting this back, obviously, at how it was. So that's still going to carry on. We know it's going to stick for a while. Do I need to worry about this rubber here? Well, these little bits are hard to get hold of. Um, I'd make something up to slip over there, a bit of rubber front. They're not absolutely necessary, necessary, because uh, all it's doing is pushing on those buttons. So I wouldn't worry too much about that being a bit raw. Uh, but if you are, see if you can find some little rubbers off of something or other to pop over. I'm sure we can find something that will go over that just to um, make it a bit softer when it hits the top of the button. But that's that's all it is. Oh. Put it back without dropping it. And there we go. And that's it. There you have it. There you go. Thanks for watching. You know where to find me, Owl's Plumbing Channel. <laughs>